Hello everyone, I just came across a comment um, on my blog Digital Geography which states yeah, I'm excited as well about the new SRTM 1 arc second global worldwide um, DEM which will probably be released this or next year or whenever um, but please keep in mind that there's already a 30 meter ground resolution DEM available for free which is called Asta GDEM Thank you very much for the comment, Bus. But um, I've already worked with Aster GDEM and I was a little bit frightened about the first version. So at the moment, let's have a look at the second version of Aster GDEM and make some quality check with that. The reason for that is I just want to show you how false data can be. So where we are, we are in the middle of nowhere, we are in central Mongolia, and you can see here um, the northeastern part of um, the Arhangai mountain range, or Hangai mountain range, and there's a river going here through, and you have a big fan over here, and um, as you can imagine, the fan is more or less flat, and you have a plane here, and here up, up here is a lake, so I've been there, and I know the, the area quite well. But you can see already in that grayish image that there's a lot of noise going on here in that flat area. So that was, or, I was interested. So how does this area perform against an SRTM? A data set from 2007 which is the SRTM filled finished version B data set which I have acquired using the um, landcover.org website and let's have a look here so it's more or less grayish and not that fine of course it is 90 meters ground resolution and you don't have that now uh, that great performance in the data but what is more important to have the ground resolution or the truth or more or less the truth of your data? So um, therefore, let's have a look on the profile. Um, there are you, or here I'm using the QProf tool, which seems quite cool. Um, uh, you can define different sources for your profile. So I'm using here the SRTM. And I would like to show the SRTM in green. Oh no, yeah, in green and just the green is good one, yeah. And the Asta GDEM, I have converted it here from um, 4326, so from WGS84, to a projected coordinate system, which is UTM Zone 48 North. And I would like to show that in red. Okay, press OK. And I would like to define my input line by digitization. Define. Let's go straight over the fan, okay? Here we go. So I'll make it nice line this this white line over there is uh, is a street and these here are irrigated fields around the city of Hachorin, also known as Karakom. Uh, so double click right click in the end there's my line so this is my profile so i have here the fan i have the street and i have some irrigated fields so i would like to make a point every 120 meters and i would like to con or check for height height and slope um yeah great let's make the great profile there we are so keep in mind green is good red is bad and um, no just kidding but have a look in the data it's quite obvious green is the srtm data which is much more smooth and we are on the plane that means you would accept much more smoothness this also um, is visible here in the in the um, profile uh, profile of the of the slope, and you can see a lot more noise over here. And here's the street. You see, the street is not 60 meters or 80 meters around the uh, above the uh, surrounding level. It is more or less 10 meters, maybe. But um, yeah. If you if you have that in mind, um, please check your data, have a look on the data, and um, it might be that the Asta GDEM is quite good and more or less often 
um, photographed areas, which the Asta GDEM or Asta is an optical satellite, so it just makes photos out of different angles and out of the photos it will create the DEM. But especially in areas where you have a lot of features changing or you may have clouds in it and everything like that, you will have some problems. And now let's have a cross profile over the plane. Once again, I'm doing the create, create profile. You can see here the, the, the trend is fine. So the trend in both is the same, but you have a little more noise in the ground data with 30 meters resolution. And um, if I would have such data, I would probably use use some kind of, of, uh, of uh, smoothing filter over it to get out of the noise. Because if you're using a dam, you're more or less interested maybe in um, flow lines, flow accumulation, um, groundwater questions, or something maybe related to runoff, land cover, and cover change and stuff like that or erosion and then noise like that or like this here it's just it's just crap sorry guys other tm rocks so keep in mind um, radar data is in this special case here much more better thank you very much for watching